On January 4, 2022, 911 reported that 64-year-old Sheila Fletcher and her husband, Clay Fletcher, found their 36-year-old daughter, Lacey Ellen Fletcher, dead on their couch. It was revealed that Lacey Fletcher was neglected by her parents for at least 12 years after she was unable to leave the house due to cognitive decline. It was discovered that after this breakdown, Sheila and Clay left their daughter to suffer on the couch in her own excrement and allowed insects to feast on her body without attempting to get her medical attention. The murder received widespread media coverage due to the gruesome nature of the crime. Sheila and Clay Fletcher were charged with murder and Lacey's death. In February 2024, they were granted plea deals to the lesser charge of manslaughter. On March 20th, 2024, they were sentenced to 20 years in prison. Lacey Fletcher was autistic and was reportedly bullied in high school. Her parents, Sheila and Clay Fletcher, later withdrew her from school in favor of homeschooling. Sheila and Clay are known to have complained about Lacey, saying they didn't want to be guardians when they became parents. When Lacey was 24, her deteriorating cognitive health left her unable to leave the house. She became confined to the family's leather sofa. Instead of seeking medical help from Lacey, Sheila and Clay left Lacey on the couch. She was left unattended for so long that she was later found dead covered in her own excrement. Bugs and maggots reportedly ate away at her body and she became fused to the leather sofa. After Lacey's cognitive decline left her unable to leave the house, Sheila and Clay left her on the couch with towels nearby to make it easier for them to clean up Lacey's feces and urine. The rest of their house was well cleaned, except for the couch, where Lacey still couldn't get off the couch on her own. Over time, Lacey's clothes no longer fit her, simply sliding off her body. Clay and Sheila often went on vacation for several days, leaving her there to starve. Over time, her muscles atrophied and the parasites began to eat her limbs under the couch, leaving mouse droppings and maggots that thrived in the space. There were signs that she was trying to get up from the sofa to avoid pain, but due to severe malnutrition and atrophy of the leg muscles, she was unable to. Her body was embedded in the leather sofa cushions as she was covered in urine and feces, as well as maggots living in her hair and inside her. She suffered from starvation and bone infections, which eventually led to sepsis, which was the cause of her death. She had feces and a couch cushion both under her fingernails and in her stomach contents, indicating that she attempted to escape by eating everything around her before dying on the couch during or shortly after Clay and Sheila left for holidays. During the autopsy, Lacey was diagnosed with COVID-19. On January 3, 2022, Sheila called 911 and stated that she found Lacey dead on their couch. Emergency services and the coroner arrived at the home to find Lacey's dead, partially clothed and emaciated 96-pound body embedded in the family's leather couch, showing obvious signs of neglect. It was determined that Lacey had been dead for one to two days before Sheila finally decided to call 911. Sheila and Clay lied to the police that Lacey had chosen to lie in those conditions for 12 years. An autopsy determined her death to be a homicide. Investigators said they were unable to sleep or eat after the murder investigation due to mental distress caused by the gruesome nature of the case. In May 2022, Sheila and Clay Fletcher were arrested and charged with second-degree murder of Lacey. They were later released on bail. A judge dismissed the charge, but a grand jury in June 2023 again indicted Sheila and Clay on murder charges. On February 6, 2024, Sheila and Clay pleaded no contest in exchange for reduced charges of manslaughter. If convicted of second-degree murder, they would have faced a mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. The prosecution has stated its intention to seek the maximum sentence for manslaughter of 40 years in prison in an attempt to still achieve effective life sentences for Sheila and Clay. On March 20, 2024, they were sentenced to 20 years in prison followed by 20 years of probation. 